Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? How are ya? I'm so glad you clicked on this video. If you hear a plane in the background or birds, I'm so sorry, you're by the window again. It's a hot summer's day in England, so the window has to be open. Today we are starting a new series that I'm calling Bougie on a Budget. And it is basically a series on my channel that I'm really excited for because Bougie on a Budget is basically the phrase that describes my entire life. Um, I grew up secondhanding everything, thrifting. I still do that today. I love to get the look for less and I know you guys do too and I love that you know we all want to save our coin where we can so basically in this series it will look a bit different in different videos but sometimes I'm gonna be comparing products to one another drugstore versus high-end getting the look for less maybe with a fashion trend trying out products that say they do the same things so but their price points very different just because we want to be educated kings and queens on this channel and like I said save our money where we can so today is no exception we are starting off with a bang with a Dyson air up tutorial because we love these and I actually did a round brush tutorial um, before this one just um, a few videos back just in case you would like to see a tutorial now but today we are going to be comparing my infamous Dyson Airwrap combo which if you followed me for a bit you know I believe in a mousse and a sea salt spray when prepping your fine straight hair which is what I have to get your Dyson Airwrap style to last for days. For me my hair wouldn't hold it until I really prepped with the right product which is really normal same with skincare, makeup, hair, Product and prep is everything. I've been using the Schwarzkopf Got To Be and the Charles Worthington Thicker Fuller Mousse. I've used that quite a few times and I love it. These I both could get from my local drugstore. I'm in the UK right now. You don't have to use these exact ones, but basically mousses and sea salt sprays can be found in quite a few drugstores around the world. But I have also recently introduced the Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray and Wave Foam. I literally love this combination. I've used this now a lot and I love it, but the price point is very different. I don't know it off the top of my head, but I'm going to put on the screen the combined price point for these products versus this. So we're going to apply these products and these products each to one half of my head, and we're going to really compare and see which is worth your money, or if you're happy to save your coin and splash the cash elsewhere, you might as well. It's hard to know which I prefer when I use one or the other, so I'm excited to put these to the test and see if we can be bougie on a budget, or if maybe sometimes we're going to just be bougie, or if we're just going to be budget friendly. Just a little disclaimer before we jump into this video. I am a hairstylist and I think sometimes people expect me to shame my clients or my followers into buying the highest quality products and while I believe in high quality products. I believe um, there is a difference between drugstore and you know salon style products. I know that they are different and they work differently. I also know that not everybody can afford everything I talk about. So I like to try and cast a really open net. Like I understand the full umbrella of quality and you know sulfates and this. I, I just I just understand the whole situation. But I also like to be really open minded to what you guys can afford and what you can do with your hair. So. Yeah. All right. Let's jump into it. Okay. First things first, I am just going to apply a heat protectant. This is just my Unite one. Oh, I'm not comparing two different heat protectants in this video, but basically make sure you always start with heat protectant using whatever you have. I do have a discount code for Unite if you decide you would like to buy this one. It's great. So now that my heat protectant is all in, I'm just going to begin brushing out my hair, just being gentle about it. And then we will rough dry our hair to about 80% dry. And then we will apply the two products on the two different sides. Okay, so my hair is about 80% dry now, mostly focusing on the roots being dry, which they are. And I'm going to make sure I part my hair down the middle. We are gonna begin testing out our products. So I'm just gonna take my fingers and split my hair into two sections. So I'm just pinning this side out of the way and we are gonna first start with our Bumble and Brumble products on this side. So I will take some of this wave foam and shake it up and I will apply it from roots to ends and then I'll spritz my hair with the surf spray. Okay, so that side is all combed through and I will take my clip and I will pin that one out of the way while I do the other side. Okay, so that side is done. I'm just gonna sit there for a second. And now I'm going to take my Charles Worthington Thicker and Fuller Mousse and the Got To Be, which I love, and I will apply it to this side. 
So I will put this through my hair and then spritz this, just the same as the other side. Okay, and now I'm going to pin that one back. Yay! So I just pinned our drugstore side up in a little bun and we are going to start with the professional side and then we will do the other side and see how it turns out see how it falls and see what we think first things first i do always start with my curtain bangs and normally i do them together but because we're doing the two different sides i'm going to do each side so i'll brush it forward and what i will do is i take my air wrap and a big barrel and wrap it in And then I will take my roller and roll it down. There we go, cute. And now we're gonna begin wrapping. I always use my smaller barrels, as you guys know, and I point them away from my face. So I just begin doing what I always do. I kind of grab just chunks of hair. It's not too specific. And I kind of just go for it and begin wrapping my hair around the barrel. I'll show you. always cool shot it for a while and then I'll release and then I'll just continue doing this the entire way okay so one side is done and we got our big ringlets that are just chilling and hanging out so they're just gonna cool and then i'm gonna go on to the other side doing the exact same thing we'll let it all cool and see what we think <gasps> this is so fun i'm i'm nervous ah like in-depth Dyson air wrap tutorial about like how I wrap around the barrel how long I cool it and all that stuff I'm link that video down below this is more to test out the different products with it but if you're needing like help with wrapping your hair around the barrel and all that stuff I'll link that video down below because I always cool shot and all of that but that's not really what this video is for so if you want to check out that tutorial I'll link it just in case that's helpful okay let's keep air wrapping Okay, you guys, we're gonna let this fully cool on both sides. As you can see, this side's already started to drop a bit. This side is a lot more soft feeling, less, it feels like it has less product in it than this side, um, which will be interesting to see if that means it doesn't hold as well, if the products just aren't as powerful. This side is definitely like more textured and gritty, and I know that's mostly from the wave foam because that's kind of its goal, is it's supposed to add you know, like a really beachy texture. But we're gonna let it fully cool and I'll check back in with you and we will see what the results are. All right, see you in like 10, 15 minutes. Okay, you guys, it has fully cooled. So we are going to begin brushing it out as I do. Okay, that looks so good. And it feels like it has a lot of volume. And like I said, there's definitely more grit, but let's brush out the other side. Okay, that looks so good too. I'm trying to look in my mirror. I feel like it looks different. Like the way it's blown out, I would say it's more like ringlety, whereas this is more like the big blowout look. And there's definitely more volume on this side, whereas this looks a little bit more like curls. So it's definitely a different look. But like, which do you prefer though? Hmm. Okay, we're gonna take these guys out. Those look pretty similar. <laughs> okay, this one it definitely doesn't feel as tight. If you'll see that, it's hanging a bit lower. This one's a bit tighter, but again, this hair on this side is just softer. So let me just fluff it up as I normally would do. The volume though, hello. Overall, I feel like the front pieces look the same. How they last will be interesting. All right, I'm just really show you a throw side by side. 
So this is the side with these. So this is the professional, more expensive side. What do you think? Versus the drugstore side, which is this side. Gosh, they really like kind of are starting to look a bit more similar as I brush through them. And I think I'm going to check in with you guys in like an hour because the sun is setting and I think I'm going to show you how it falls so that we can make the ultimate decision together. But both sides I love, but I feel like until I see how they fall over time, I'm going to have to give you my final review then. So I'll check back in with you in a little bit. Hey guys, it's getting dark and so I need to film this video, but it's been like an hour and a half and this is what it looks like. I think my final review is that they both basically work the same. Granted, maybe the drugstore's ingredients and the products aren't as good, but they literally are the same. I would definitely say the side with the sea salt spray and the wave foam has more volume. You kind of can see that. And so I think potentially I prefer this side, but oh my gosh, for the price that these two are, I don't know. Like I'm not mad at this either. And this still has a good amount of volume too. The curls are just different. It looks a bit bigger and more like voluminous on the side and the curls seem a bit smaller on the side, even though I took the same amount size sections, just how your hair falls is a bit different. Bangs though are like literally the same. They set in the roller for forever. So they look perfect. So I don't know. I think bougie on a, bougie on a budget, budget versus bougie. I would say it's a tie, but for the price, probably budget wins and it looks phenomenal. Um, but I'm gonna still continue using both and just kind of mixing up between the two because I have them both, so I might as well. Don't wanna waste product, but yeah, my hair still feels amazing and tonight I'll wrap it while I sleep so that the style lasts me for even longer so that when I sleep, I'm not messing it up. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed episode one of this Bougie on the Budget series where we'll just be comparing different items and trying to save our money where we can. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful rest of your day from wherever you're watching. I'm sending you all my love.